Hi everyone, it is Nat here and uh, today I'm doing some recording of acoustic guitar and vocals at the same time. So I thought I would show you a, a setup that works really well. It's a very simple setup, um, but a lot of people are interested in this because it's quite difficult to get a, a reasonable recording um, of an acoustic guitar and vocal, you know, live performance um, in a home studio because you have all sorts of issues, room issues, phase issues, as, as long as you introduce a second microphone, um, that can get tricky. Getting a good tone on the acoustic guitar can be tricky. Um, and getting a good balance between the voice and the acoustic guitar without getting too much spill between the two mics uh, can be tricky as well. So this for this setup, I have a Shaw SM7B, which is a um, vocal mic commonly used in broadcast for radio. Um, this is a um, you know standard dynamic microphone, so you don't need. Uh, this is sort of very similar to the um, Shaw uh, SM58, um, which is you know one of the most common live vocal mics. So because this is a dynamic mic, um, you don't need phantom power and it's you know less sensitive uh, to those super high frequencies uh, so I found that if you use two uh, condenser mics see I've also down here I'm not sure if you can see that um, I've got a AKG C414 uh, with the gold front and the black back I'm not going to touch it because I'm recording through it you'll get a nice bang um, so the combination of the condenser mic and the dynamic is really good. The dynamic for the vocals, the condenser for the acoustic guitar. Now you can, I've also gotten really good results uh, with even an NT2A or even a small diaphragm condenser mic, just a pencil mic. Um, and I just point it straight at the 12th fret right here. You don't want it pointing too much at the hole or you get the boom. You don't want it pointing too much or too close to the strings because you'll get a lot of finger noises. So I'll just demonstrate for you here. Um, the So you're actually hearing my voice through both microphones. Um, but with the condenser microphone, I have the pattern set to cardioid and um, which is just the, so it's recording just in front of the mic. It's rejecting on the sides. Um, I Also, the natural pattern of the Shure SM7B is cardioid as well, as is with, you know, most standard sort of vocal mics. So I found that if you have a condenser up here for your vocal and a condenser down here for your guitar, you're picking up a little, you know, too much high frequencies and you get, because the condenser mics are so sensitive they pick up the room they pick up a lot of stuff um you kind of want this one just to catch especially if you're a loud vocalist if you're a very quiet vocalist you probably want to move this in but i have this you know just about a little bit further than the standard setup would be for a vocal mic so you can hear i'm getting this is the nice sort of guitar tone from the akg c4 and 4 which is a very nice mic And then um, you, you can hear my voice quite clearly. So we're getting reasonable separation. I have this mic pointing slightly up and I have this mic pointing slightly down. So we're just trying to separate. You, you're never going to get away without some bleed in this situation. So you, it, you can't really fix the tuning of your voice or anything like that. They're, they're kind of married. But if you can get a fair amount of separation, you can mix, do a quite, a, quite a nice mix. Um, so... Sometimes you use a stereo pair on, on the guitar, but um, as soon as you go to three microphones or more on a setup like this, you, you're really running into some phase problems. You can even have fa phase problems with these two. And then if you're hearing a weird phasing or chorusy sound, you just need to move uh, the condenser mic probably further away or closer or adjust that vocal mic until you, that goes away and you've got a nice phase relationship between the two microphones. Um, so, uh, yeah. This is what it sounds like together. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. I got the feeling that something ain't right. I am so scared in case I fall off my chair. No, I don't think I can get 
down the stairs There's clouds to the left of me Jokers to the right Here I am, stuck in the middle with you So, not super polished, but today just shooting some YouTube videos of some acoustic vocals, acoustic guitar and vocals. So this is my favorite, nice simple setup and I'm just shooting on an iPhone. We're not going for some big production quality here. We're just, uh, you know, I'm doing these videos to, uh, you know, show some potential clients, uh, you know, what I'm like at singing and playing guitar. So this is a really good way if you want to shoot YouTube videos as well. Um, you can do it with really cheap uh, microphones um, as, as long as you've got something reasonable to, to, you know, record live into a laptop, then you take the iPhone footage and you just throw them into a video editing software or I use Ableton Live, which has video editing capabilities and you just marry up the two sounds. You just, um, and then you remove the sound from the iPhone and you only use the live sound. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, if you like this video, stick around and uh, watch the future videos that I'm going to be putting out. Thank you.